guys, Doug here at Sperling Training Systems in Kenny Bunk. So today I want to talk to you about the uh, idea of a training gym versus a commercial or mainstream gym. Pros and cons to both. I, I'm going to approach this from an unbiased opinion. Uh, I really think it's important just for the general public to be aware of the differences out there. So let's first start with a commercial gym. So a commercial gym is usually larger in nature, it doesn't have to be, uh, typically just rows of equipment and a uh, front desk staff, maybe a, a commission based personal trainer and maybe a manager. Uh, memberships are generally on the cheaper side, so that is a pro. Uh, generally you're simply just paying to use the facility, you come in whenever you want, you scan your tag and you do whatever you feel like doing without any type of supervision. If you do want supervision, you uh, maybe consult with a personal trainer and hire them for $75 to $100 an hour. Uh, but most times commercial gyms are used kind of just as a rental of their equipment. You come in, scan your card, use their equipment, it's up to you to decide for the workout. So pros of that would be generally their hours uh, are, are larger, they're generally open later, open earlier, and on the weekends. Uh, also, you don't have to make an appointment, you can just come in when you want, and the rates are cheaper. A training gym is just that. Each time you come in, you're gonna be working with a coach and they're gonna be training you. They're gonna be addressing your specific goals and once they have the goals, they're gonna create a program for you to do here and once that program's created, they're gonna supervise you every single workout. So pros to that, obviously you have a lot more accountability, you have a lot more coaching, a lot more supervision. A con may be you have to schedule each session. So because you're working with that coach, they have to know when you're coming in. So if you're kind of running all over the place and you just wanna come in whenever you want, a training gym may take some adjustment because you have to book your appointment. Also, you're paying for their service to coach and work with you, so it can it, it typically is a more expensive option. Uh, so again, hopefully that's a good, quick uh, understanding of a commercial gym versus a training gym. Uh, you can decide for yourself what you want more. Do you want a cheaper price, lots of equipment, lots of hours, or do you want coaching, accountability, and supervision, but paying a premium for that?